He's the one who is in charge of the whole universe. Jai Shri Mataji, a very good morning to everyone. Welcome to today's morning meditation. Let's all humbly bow down and offer our pranams to Adi Shakti on this auspicious day of Shri Krishna Janmashtami, the birth of Yogeshwara Shri Krishna. and put ourselves in Bandhan.
let's put our right hand on our heart Ramadha ji please come into our hearts please let me open my heart so that you can put your lotus feet into my heart let your feet be worshiped in my heart save me from all the delusions and illusions keep me in reality take away the sheen of superficiality let me clean my heart so that you are there let your feet be worshiped in my heart We'll place our hands on Mother Earth. Mother Earth, thank you for sustaining us and giving us balance and gravity necessary for our ascent. Mother Earth, Please ground us to reality. Shri Ganesh Mantra Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Ganesh Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deve Namo Nama Mataji, please make us innocent and wise like Shri Ganesha. Please bless us with the humility and complete surrender of your Shri Ganesha. गम गणपते नमः ओम गम गणपते नमः ओम गम गणपते नमः ओम गम गणपते नमः
एक है राइट हैंड टू नाभी समाथी प्लीज प्लेसेस विथ कंप्लीट पीस एंड सैटिस्फैक्शन इन नाभी चक्र अटेंशन ऑन विशुद्धि मदर वेरीली यू आर द स्वीटनेस ऑफ माय वर्ड्स एंड एक्शंस प्लीज रिमूव ऑल द गिल्ट ऑल द हार्शनेस ऑफ माय वर्ड्स एंड एक्शंस फ्रॉम माय विशुद्धि एंड ब्लेस मी विद अ विटनेस स्टेट where i can see all the happenings around me and in my life as the eternal drama राइट हैंड ऑन आज्ञा प्रेस्त आज्ञा श्रीमात जी प्लीज कम इन टू माय ब्रेन यू बी द कंट्रोलर ऑफ दिस ब्रेन प्लीज रिमूव ऑल द क्लाउड्स ऑफ ईगो एंड सुपर ईगो कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग माय ब्रेन and enlighten my brain with the light of the pure spirit with the light of wisdom of shri ganesha and the powers of shri viratangana shri vithal viratangana साक्षात श्री विठल विराटांगना साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव नमो नम right hand on sahasra namaste ji please establish my self realization please open my sahasra ra please expand my sushumna so that more and more of your divine love can flow through me
let's maintain this state of meditation Today we are celebrating here in this holy land the birthday of Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna is the ultimate of the fatherhood that I described you before, who came on this earth and illustrated the ultimate of that. So on this earth the highest fatherhood is Sri Krishna's awareness. But in the kingdom of God, we can say in the heavens or even above everything else, besides Sadashiva, who does not take incarnation, he is one of the aspects, Sri Krishna is one of the aspects of Sadashiva, which is the father. And the Adi Shakti or the Holy Ghost is the other aspect of Sadashiva, which is his power. So when Sri Krishna incarnated on this earth, uh, an ex aspect of this Adi Shakti came on this earth as Radha. She is the same who came as the mother of Christ. And she gave the name of Christ as the surname of Sri Krishna, as, as if it's, it's Sri Krishna's name, Krishna, from yeah. Krishna. It's called as Krisht, a Krisht in Indian language, Krisht. And I have told you before why he was called as Jesu or Yeshu. So today we are going to see to the two aspects of Sri Krishna which were the manifestation of his divine birth. In Rama's life, they showed a man, a Purushottama, the best of the father in worldly affairs. And in Sri Krishna's life, they showed him the highest fatherhood as in Yogeshwara or in divine world. So the first aspect of Krishna we have to understand is the Yogeshwara and the second aspect of him as the Virata. Yogeshwara means the Lord of the Yoga or the power of Yoga. Uh, he is called because he reached the optimum that one has to reach as a Yogi as if he is the ideal that you have to reach. Now, as a yogi, he was born of a royal family, but he lived in the jungles, in the forest, with the cows, with ordinary people. He used to sleep on the ordinary places, like sometimes on the stone or on the grass, when he would go uh, with his cows for their uh, feeding. Secondly, he was very, very aware 
absolutely aware of his powers <coughs> without any ego he had a special power called samhara shakti by which he could destroy all those people who try to harm the divine manifestation the samhara shakti is expressed as the chakra in his hands and another is the gada in his hand is there these pe- powers were within him and he acted according to the power of radha because she was the one who sustained the power of shri krishna the proof of that is says that when he was in gokul vitrada he did all his samhara samhara work samhara karya and afterwards he just became a sadhu is a chariot driver for arjuna so for his uh disciple arjuna he became even a chariot driver the another great quality of yogeshwara was the complete discretion power built in so he knew who was a devil and who was not who is good who is bad who is possessed who is not possessed who is innocent who is not this was built in within him this power of complete discrimination and he had a capacity more expressing his witnesshood as a saksha he he had a capacity i mean he was a saksha himself i should say this way it's easier to understand he was a saksha means he had the capacity of witnessing the whole world as a play at the time of rama rama was the one who got involved into his problem to show as if he is uh a full human being so that human being should not say that he was god so how could we accept god because he was god after all now this capacity in him to witness has to be seen in every yogi the element he controls is ether We call it it as Akash in Sanskrit. Akash. This ether, as you know, we are using now for our television, for our radio, for every sort of a collective work. So we have to be in charge of the ether element as yogis. And that is the subtlest of all. in the sense that you permeate into everything with that and is above all like plastic also permeates into everything into matter into everything up to the air but it cannot enter into ether so the negativity cannot enter into ether so when you enter into an ethereal zone you actually enter into the area which is thoughtless of wealth so to achieve your ethereal state you have to expand your thoughtless awareness and the sustenance of that is done by christ by the spirit so you can realize now as a yogi your state of mind should be ethereal and what should be the state of your super ego this is the ego part of it that you should be in ethereal state 
and as a super ego you should see it as a play you should see the play of the negative negativity will run away but don't get involved into it play into their hands then the negativity will separate from you so the ego and super ego both rise from the vishuddhi chakra they can be preceded by the agya chakra but are to be sucked in the vishuddhi the greatest quality of yogeshwara is that he is not at all involved in it the plus grand absolutely if he eats his food he does not eat it if he speaks he does not speak if he sees he does not see if he hears he does not hear it has no effect on him. no retention on him. no action on him. whatever he is he is complete 16 petals is complete moon 16th day of the moon is the only one that is how one has to be complete in oneself complete confidence in oneself but the confidence should not be confused with ego but confidence is complete wisdom is complete dharma it is complete love complete beauty and is complete god that's what it should be now when he said that you give up all your dharmas and surrender to me in gita what he was meaning that all other things about which you are worried you give up and become one with me so i look after you give up the responsibility to shri krishna so the complete integrated divinity will start expressing through you means if you say that you have to be responsible then he says all right go ahead start but if you say that you are responsible i'm just an institu- institution or an instrument in your hands then you start manifesting it well and that is how your vishuddhi chakra gets opened up this is some part of the yogeshwara i have spoken to you but as he is the brain within us he becomes the brain within us we have to know all the qualities of a divine brain are within So whatever we do with our brain, like intrigue, thieving, the deception, all which are bad things by your brain, you can call it, are done by him for the divine purpose without getting any blemish upon himself and the other side of it whatever we do so called positive like politics uh, like uh, diplomacy uh, uh, like uh, leadership all that is his own doing like even the thinking of the future and all that he does for us planning thinking all those things administration as a play everything is done as a play because he is the master as we call as a sutradhara the one who, who does the prologue in a drama the one who plays with the strings uh, with the uh pantomime now the other thing that we have to understand shri krishna at this stage of sahaj yoga that it is the virata shakti that is manifesting at this time and not the shri krishna shakti which was at his time 
and the power that is working here is no more that of Radha or of uh, Mary, but of Viratangana. That's why the knowledge of Sahajogi is much wider than the knowledge of all the saints of it. But is not a deeper than that. If you can deepen your knowledge, this wider knowledge will have proper roots within you. So the brain is are the roots. Here are the roots of the whole tree of life. Actually, Kundalini comes up and waters the brain first, so that the whole tree of life is drenched in the divine bliss and divine knowledge. So this Virata Shakti that we have to work out gives us the sense of collective consciousness first. First we understand it through our brain power. But the whole brain power is to be guided by the heart, is to be watered, But in Sanskrit is a very beautiful word, sinchana, like dewdrops, sprayed with the love of God. So the integration of this brain has to take with heart and with your liver. Then only the Virata Shakti takes another form, the weapons of killing become the weapons of forgiveness. Every sort of destructive power is used for the construction, as if it is tricked. Like now, I told them a trick, how to trick these gurus. The power that they have can be tricked against them. As he said that their teeth must be put into their necks, into their throats. It's Instead of taking out their teeth, better put them back into their own throats. And if you can do that, then there is no problem as far as their effect on us is concerned, because we are more powerful and more tricky. Because the Virata Shakti has now taken that form. Like the tree, when it grows, it grows upward. But when it is laden with fruit, it comes down. First it is attractive by its flowers, by its timber, by its uh, other, uh, all other parts of its uh, body, and people try to destroy it for it. But when the fruits appear, they want to preserve it, and the, and the tree bends down. Its humility is very valuable. So you are the fruits, that Viratangana Shakti, you are the fruits. Because you are so valuable that those people who wanted to ruin or to destroy the divine power from this earth will start thinking that they have to gain something out of these fruits. So today the Virata Shakti has given you a great value because people see that by having one Sahaja Yogi with them it is so precious. Say one ordinary man gets his realization, then he develops his value. In that, his own value, he can be respected, loved, and given the highest if he is a proper surgery. So you should understand today that Virata Shakti is We are going to worship that Virata Shakti which has given fruits. As a result of that, all these uh, different churches and fanaticism and atheism and communism and all that is all, all these will neutralize because they will see their benefit. In it. But you have to become that. That is the biggest thing one has to know, is to bend down towards the Mother Earth, to be humble. Absolutely the humility inside, out, 
is really going to give you the complete value of Sahaja Yoga future. Those Sahaja Yogis who boast about themselves are like the fruits which are getting ruined only on the The only fruits which bend down are accepted as good and mature fruits. Negative people should not by any chance take advantage of this and say that they are good because they are bending down. It's not the logic. Some of them post they are humble. Even a rotten fruit bends down. But the mature fruit. shows its humility by its weight. That is the Guru Tattva, weight. So from the Viratangana power we get the power of maturity up to the fruit and then we become blessed by Guru Prasad. Those who are still involved in getting to better sunshine or getting to better water supply or all these things are not yet matured because the fruit doesn't need anything anymore. It doesn't need anything from the Mother Earth, nor from the element. But it surrenders, it bends, it bows to the Mother Earth. So the Sahaja Yogi who goes on asking questions to mothers, bringing personal problems, uh, stupid ideas, uh, negativity, all those people are still not yet the fruits. But the matured people are those who surrender, who, who bow to the mother. So the capacity to bow is the best judgment of yourself and leaving everything to the power of gravity of your mother to do every work for you and leaving all your small little worries behind. You have to rise above these restricting powers and achieve the completion of this Virata Shakti, which ultimately becomes a Madhura Shakti. Madhura, there's no word in, in, in English language, but it means a sweet power. Like the fruit becomes sweet. That's how you all have to become very sweet. Krishna tried to make everything very sweet in the sense it was all Madhura Shakti that was acting, all his play, all his dancing, all his uh, stories, if you read, is nothing but Madhura Shakti towards Gopag and Gopis, towards other Sahaja Yogis. So you have to keep your mother pleased by pleasing all other Sahaja Yogis and not other people. They are not important. So today we are going to shorten the puja, and that's why it took so much time upstairs to shorten it. <laughs> so the time lost is time gained forever and ever. May God bless you.
जी माता जी प्लीज ब्लेसेस विद द पावर ऑफ स्वीटनेस द मधुर शक्ति ऑफ श्री विराट आंगना सो दैट वी आर एबल टू स्प्रेड योर लव टू द एंटायर मैन काइंड We'll offer three maha mantras. Let's bow down, offer our pranams to our Dishakti, and take our bandhans. Jai Shri Mata Ji. Okay. 
Oh, 